Hey guys, Dave here. I do a review of the ROM Dirty Unicorn. Uh, Dirty Unicorn is a ROM. Let me give you a little information from their uh, ROM information. This ROM is based on the Android Open Kang project, AOKP. This was originally made to be pure boredom and for personal use. After sharing it with a few people, we decided to take it a step further. Uh, let's see, since we've decided to share the ROM, the community has ported it over to several different devices such as Evo LTE, Galaxy Nexus, Galaxy Nexus again, Nexus 4, uh, and as you can see the HTC One. Um, the ROM is packed with a bunch of different options. Uh, I will not be able to go over them all. However, I'm going to try to get over the majority of them. Um, as you can see here, you got your your normal five screens um, hitting your home. You're going to take you to that center screen. You got all your apps here. Um, it's in the left to right kind of uh, setup. You got Apollo. The camera is set up as the Google edition. Um, it works fine. It does panoramic and all that stuff. As you can see, I got Halo here, which double tap that. You can move it to a different side up or just remove it. I'll show you how to add that back in later. DSP manager, file manager, it's got the gallery. This does not have Zoe, so um, it's just basic gallery. Uh, there's a Halo right there. You can use that to uh, get back into Halo, Halo options. You can pinpoint a thing like camera. Uh, default, I guess you could have done a custom. That way when you pull down To your halo. Let's try another one. I guess you could pick a custom at this point. We're just going to go with the regular. Alright, now when you pull down, you should have. I don't see them though. It's kind of weird that they'd be up there at the top. Oh, there they are. So anyways, um, get back on track here. We have <coughs> Gallery, Halo, Hangout, Movie Studio, which is interesting to have on these phones. Play Store. It did not have YouTube. I was kind of surprised it didn't, but I went ahead and threw it on there because I love YouTube. use all the time. That's what you're doing right now. You're watching it. Uh, okay, so that's pretty much most of your options there. Uh, here's what your phone's going to look like. And all your contacts over there. Uh, there's your text messages sent to myself. A little test email. Uh, you get notifications on your Halo. Um... whenever you get a text message or something that comes up above games and everything so it's like it's always on top of everything so it's a it's pretty interesting sometimes it gets annoying sometimes it's great to have it there um let's get into your your settings up here these do not slide left and right so what you're looking at is what you got up here it's your quick settings however you can click over here and you got stuff like your launcher but you can set that really high you can turn halo off on and off here um the launcher let me give you an example here. We go from one extreme to the other. Yeah, that's this is all the pages right here. Uh, that's how big far back we're looking. This is how small everything is. And if I go into send, you can see all those apps up there. That's that's all the apps that we just went through, but in an extremely uh, large ratio. So go back to our normal. And there you go. You can go anywhere in between there. So it'll uh, set you up to the closest default, I believe. Let's go back into here. So airplane mode shows your battery. You can turn your light on and off right there. Uh, wireless sound on. This is pretty cool. Let me get a quick close-up of that because I thought that was pretty. That sound on, you can, uh, every time you hit it, it changes. Along with changing the thing, it just goes around right there. So uh, that's kind of cool. Um... Your Wi-Fi screenshot and reboot options. Also, I guess the next thing we can get into is your settings. 
lots of settings, kind of, uh, I believe this is like a honeycomb setup. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not 100% sure. Um, <clears throat> you got all your settings over here. Kind of small, but, you know, they're still easily uh, selectable. There is a bunch to do in here. You got your pie controls, uh, ribbons, power menu, navigation bar, your toggles you can change there, signals, LEDs. I mean, just this is a lot of the options you don't get sometimes with a lot of ROMs. Um, and this is, I think, uh, all, all the people that are involved in the ROM, um, one way or another. So that was uh, ROM control. Uh, you got dirt settings. I wish I could get into all of them, but there's just a bunch of different options and being able to turn things on and off. Uh, you play with it for hours on hours and find out there's so much you can do here. Uh, one of the great things of having these uh, these these ROMs is so that you can do this kind of thing. Um, you can turn dark and dirty on. I, I try to figure out exactly what that was because every time I turned it on, it seemed to turn itself off, but it's back on right now, so I'm guessing it might have just took a second to kick in. You got uh, device options. You even can get into overclocking from here. If I remember, I think it was device options. No, that wasn't it. Maybe it was the dirt settings. Performance control. There it is. So you can actually, if you had an overclockable uh, kernel on here, you could actually overclock it with its own uh, program on the phone rather than downloading a third party or something that might give you more error. So I thought that was really cool. So, um, Again, I kind of went over this quickly because it's so much and I know I don't want to make these videos 20 minutes long. So um, I hope I got some of the big portions. This ROM is just packed with stuff, guys. Uh, it might need a follow-up. You uh, you comment on there if you think I missed anything large and uh, I might do a follow-up so uh, other people can see all the options that are available on here. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Always appreciate the likes. If you can hit that like button, that thumbs up. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.